Well, thank you for joining us on this election day. Rain didn't appear to dampen any voters' enthusiasm. At this Golden Valley polling site, voters stood shoulder to shoulder filling out ballots for their party candidates in today's crucial midterm elections. The polls will remain open for another four hours. Minnesota elections officials say turnout at the polls is very high despite heavy early voting. Yeah, Rena, the same is true across the nation and with good reason. At stake today, control of Congress, 36 governorships and hundreds of down ballot races. Well, tonight we have team coverage of Decision 2018. We begin in Bloomington at the GOP headquarters with Carla Halt. Hi, Carla. Hello, both of you. Yes, election night finally arrived after so many months of talking about this. I'm here at the GOP headquarters tonight in Bloomington. This is an empty ballroom at this point, but as you can imagine, it will fill up throughout the night as both candidates and their supporters come in here to root the results. And they are, of course, hoping for a victory, especially they believe with the governor's race. That one, though, is extremely close. Republican candidate Jeff Johnson is hoping his message about over the top government spending that it resonated with voters. He's also been talking about what he calls excessively high taxes, but he would have to pull a come from behind kind of victory in order to beat Tim Walls. Meantime, the governor's race, far from the only critical one for Republicans with Congressman Jason Lewis and Eric Paulson battling to keep their seats from their Democratic challengers and State Senator Karen Housley vying for the Senate seat against Tina Smith. Now, I just spoke with the chair of the Republican Party here in Minnesota. Soda, and she says that all along we've been talking about this election like a referendum on the president. But tonight, she says, will be an affirmation. She believes that the strong voter turnout could absolutely favor the Republicans. Of course, we have only hours to see if that is true. Back to you. Well, thank you, Carla. Well, let's turn our attention now to the Democrats. Reporter John Croman, our political reporter, live at the well, DFL the headquarters tonight. Hi. Hey, I'm at the Intercontinental Hotel over here in St. Paul, and they're expecting a pretty sizable crowd here in this ballroom, which isn't uh, filled yet because the party doesn't start yet for quite a while. Now, the people at the top of the statewide ticket for the DFL, the governor's race, we have Tim Walls and running mate Peggy Flanagan. Um, we'll see them here along with Congressman Keith Ellison at some point. He's taking his first shot at statewide office in the AG's race. Secretary of State Steve Simon also defending his post today. Senator Tina Smith facing voters for the first time in a special election for the last two years of Al Franken's term. And you know, all the Democrats have been barnstorming the state the past few days, including state rep Ilhan Omar, the heavy favorite to make history as the first Somali member of Congress. And of course, uh, Amy Klobuchar is heavily favored to win her third term in the U.S. Senate. But most of the other races, the statewide races, really too close to call at this point because of uh, because of uh, the polling data, the margin of error. Also, four congressional races in Minnesota, also too close to call, considered toss-ups by many. So it's going to be a very interesting night throughout. But I'll be here at the Democrat Farmer Labor Party. Uh, keeping tabs on things will be on CARE 11 several times and CARE11.com. Back to you. All right. Thank you, John. Well, as we mentioned, CARE 11 has several crews out covering the elections today. Yeah, reporter Lou Raguse joining us now live from Highland Park High School in St. Paul. Lou, what does the voting look like out there today at that site? Well, this is not an ordinary election. That's the bottom line told to me by the head election judge here today. They ran out of pens this morning at 9 o'clock. The judge had to run out and get some more as a few walked away after people cast their ballots. The turnout is big. They knew it was going to be big. This is what they expected. And uh, I'll step aside and let you get a look at what things are like right now. We're actually uh, over at the Gloria Day Lutheran Church in uh, Highland Park neighborhood of St. Paul, Ward 3, Precinct 10. Just a steady stream of people coming in today. In this ward at a different polling place, there was a small issue this morning as two ballot counting machines failed. And it took a third one to get in there to get a working ballot counting machine at another polling place here in Ward 3, St. Paul. Uh, but overall, no major issues, according to the Secretary of State's office. We checked in with them this afternoon uh, to see if there's any major issues going on today. Uh, talked to a few voters here as we arrived this afternoon. Some of the major issues that are bringing them out locally are property taxes as well as education. The big races they're looking at, of course, the big governor's race. And there's a lot of interest with the attorney general's race, especially with all the negative ads that have been airing on TV. I think if there's one thing everyone can agree on, they'll be happy tomorrow when those negative attack ads go away. Should be interesting as the results start to come in this evening. Back to you. 
Lou Raguse, thank you. He's absolutely right, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Nationally, more money was spent on this midterm election than any other in history. Now it's time for the voters to decide. There are some incredibly tight races all across the country that could change the balance of power in Congress. Democrats are looking for a net gain of 23 seats to control the House. They need two more seats in the Senate. What is driving voters? Issues like health care, immigration, and jobs. Of course, stay with CARE 11 throughout the night for complete coverage of Decision 2018. We will have your election results and reaction on TV, along with a special nonstop live stream. That's happening all night on our CARE 11 pages. You can find that on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.